Well, my beaten Volvo, the loser against the celebrity, had to have a redneck rad hose repair. So I'll show you how I did it. It's pretty simple. Way down there is the output from the water pump and the rad hose. I cut it off. There used to be an elbow there. That's the part that was there. And that's the big split it got. Lost everything. Sure hope the head's not cracked because she was smoking hot and the oil was burning off the motor. I've already opened up the turbo and stuck my finger in there and spun the wheel. And it's spinning good because when you blow a hose on a turbo engine, there's no coolant to cool your turbo and you can seize your turbo up. This was a unique rad hose. See, it has this little T on it. And that feeds the turbo with coolant to keep it cool. So I didn't have anything like that at the farm. But I do have a box of rad hoses I save off all my old cars. Sometimes I don't need a whole hose, I just cut a piece off and use what I need. So that's what I did this time. I cut an elbow off. I think it'll work. Looks like an elbow would look good down there. I got a piece of fence post, cut a little piece off, put that in there, put a clamp on it, shove that in there, put another clamp on it. I think it's going to work great. Cool. Now only if I can get all this done before it starts pissing rain. Almost together now. Oh, that worked out great. Now I just got to tighten all the clamps. Sweet. Now just to add some rainwater I've recycling I collected from my roof. Wouldn't want to waste any money on this car since it's a free car. So far, haven't spent a nickel on it. Thirsty sounding. Sounds like when I'm drinking that. Only one problem with joyriding this thing in the rain. The wipers won't be too effective. And the roof is well ventilated. Pickaxe holes. And we're lacking uh, beer storage space. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, that's got some serious hail damage. nuclear powered hail. Well, now for a car that fared terribly against the awesome destructive powers of Chevy. Let's see if she fires up and works now after cooking the motor. At least the turbo is good. Ooh, power seats. I wonder if they work. Maybe the key has to be on. Cool. Ah, oh, too bad the gauges are busted, but she runs. Seats work now. Nope. Oh well. Uh, and since the battery was dead, the radio forgot its code. Fuck that. I hate those radios. Too bad all that's broke. Uh oh, my rad hose is hitting the fan. I better tie it back. Sure is. Fan is tied out of the way. Use a little uh, telephone wire to. Get some clearance. 
engine doesn't sound so bad after a lot of abuse. Maybe that's all it needed. Sometimes some people need, I mean, sometimes some things need to be abused before they work right. Sounds pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. So, let's go for a fine ride. A real fine ride. It's an ashtray. What? What the fuck? No beer holders? Who would spend, who would spend almost $50,000 to buy a car with no beer holders and spider webs in the window? Like, what the fuck? Oh well. It says we got no problems anyways. So that's cool. Just wish my tack and turbo gauge worked. It'll get hot in here, so cool. That works. Ooh, maybe they all work. Man, this thing works as good as a Toyota sometimes. Oh, I can't see out the back. Damn it. They do have some sunlight in the roof. Coming for a ride, buddy? Storm's gone. Let's give her. Oh, yes. That turbo works good. Oh, yes. It's too quiet. Feels like an old man sedan. We're going to have to unleash that turbo and cut the exhaust and cut the catalytic converter off and make her serious Canadian power. Swedish are just too tame, obviously. Whoa, whoa, there's some air. Sorry about the spider webs. I like this car. If only it was a standard. This car has never been down Sky Hill yet. Let's see how she does. Ooh, the wind is really picking up. Oh well, here we are. Ah! Ah, oh, took her like a champ. Not a problem. One good thing about Volvos are, I guess, we got no gas leaks, and we got four wheel brakes, and I didn't even look underneath the car yet. So something's gotta be good about it. And it's got no rust. Can't say that about my Toyotas. There's a broken beer bottle jammed up in the sunroof area. I keep getting beer bottle glass on my head. There's a piece that just bounced off. I better go back and get that shit out before I get my neck all cut to hell. Let's get a step on the gas and see what she's got. Whoa, this thing is seriously fast. I can't even control it. The ass end is floating everywhere. I like it. Oh, look at that. It's telling us we got a brake light out. Imagine that. I wonder why. I'm afraid I'm going to hit the barn or the power box. Or that stupid dog. Got a lot of turbo lag. That's because it's got so much space between the intercooler and all the pipes to go back to the engine. 
It ain't cold in here. The air don't work.